Let's do some Python on hard work. This week is going to be a little bit different. Um, by different, I just mean that we're going to, um, you know, remind you to, of course, check out the newsletter. But we're going to play a video of, I think, the first uh, time this uh, new ESP32 P4 has uh, been running something like CircuitPython. We got one and like within hours, you were yeah, like, actually, sure Yeah, I have done. to I have to clarify. So Brian Whitman actually did the port. So he, he actually did get it working and Scott. Uh, was some tools. Okay, yeah. So this is the first like sign of life. This is a certain first visual uh, video. Maybe. Yeah. So anyways, we're going to have um, this written up in our newsletter. This happened, uh, I think, earlier in the week. So we're going to play the video. And uh, kudos to Brian Whitman and uh, that Scott for getting it over to uh, uh, us to check it out. So let's uh, let's run the video. All right, lady, what's this? OK, so this is the ESP32 P4 eval board that I got a couple days ago. This is featuring the new ESP32 P4 dual core 400 megahertz risk five processor for expressive. Uh, it's got the cool MIPI DSI and CSI uh, uh, connections on it and uh, Ethernet. And um, one thing we want to do is port CircuitPython to it. So I've got my computer connected through the USB UART. So we're still working on getting the native USB working, but right now we're going through this uh, CP2102 converter into the chip. And check this out. Scott got a uh, basic build working. So if you zoom out just a teeny bit, you'll see oh. this and I can restart it. Um, oh. And then I can say, hello world oh. from ESP32 P4. I'm using the online editor oh. to save. And then restart, and now it says this, and I can do um, wow. print. I think OS dot system. Let's see, I'm not so used to using the editor. So I'm also this is a great way to test the editor. Oh right, hold on, I got to import import OS. We actually wrote this for um, particularly expressive boards because sometimes they don't have native USB. So let's save and run. Oh OS dot. You know what? I have to remember what it is. Dur. Actually, you know what I can do? I can go over here and I can, there you go. I can do import OS and then OS dash, what was it called? Oh, maybe I don't have, maybe it's not OS, maybe it's something else. Oh, you name. That was it. There you go. ESP32 P4, release 9.2 alpha, uh, running on the eval board. So, not live, you know, it's live. It's really working because I can't even do yeah. it anymore. Um, Anyways, exciting. Um, it's just like to see the first boot. I remember when we had um, the SAMD21 first boot circuit Python. So this right. chip is going to be a beast. It has 16 megabytes or 32 megabytes of internal PS RAM. So it's going to be awesome for running circuit Python. It's basically like a computer. Cool. Very exciting. OK, so um, if folks want to play around with that soon, I guess we'll have something for them, right? There's actually a PR right now. And I think that there's um, artifacts in the PR in the CircuitPython okay. repo, and they can they can just download the from the attach. I mean, you have to know kind of how to navigate GitHub, but you can get the artifact generated by the CI okay. and you can try it out. So they could if they're so there, I saw people are getting these dev boards. Is there? Yeah, you okay. can try so it. They, they can play around you with can it. Play with, yeah. OK, so we'll add more to the newsletter um, next week. Do check out the newsletter. Very early. Yeah, do check it out. That's like cutting edge stuff. Um, we talked about this last week to 4,000 stars on GitHub. Thanks so much. Okay. Um, some of the stuff that's going on with the RP2040. Um, 2350. Sorry, yeah. I'm just going to get that messed up for like 45 more times. 2350. And then um, you can check out all the projects that we have. It is chock full of Python, running on hardware projects, and more. Join about 11,000 plus people. Oh, I like that HID, man. That thing was cool. This is a, um, this? it lets you use a USB keyboard with a PS2 device. Oh, right. I sent you that. Device. Yeah. I said that was a good idea. Yeah, it was on Hector. Um, good project. Um, so anywho, uh, head over to Adafruit Daily. We send this out every single week. Spam free. We took the ring tracking. You can look at it on GitHub, you can get it as RSS, you can look at it as a blog post, all the different ways that you want.